Hi everybody, it's Jen. Um, I'm gonna try something a little different here on Scoot. We, my husband and I, are selling our house and moving. And we are thinking about, well we're trying to buy a piece of land up in the mountains. I live in Colorado. And build a house. And so I thought it'd be interesting to kind of blog about that experience because I'm going to be living in a camper <laughs> for a while. Um, for a few months parked in front of my mom's house here in town. And then soon, hopefully not long, not for long, because I don't want to be a burden. Um, but then we'll be moving up to the land. And it's gonna be quite a change for me and my husband. Um, we're both natives to Colorado, but we've never lived in the mountains. And when you live in the mountains, you kind of have to think about different things like, um, bears and mountain lions. Um, I have seen bears up there before. I have never seen a mountain lion, but you hear about them on the news all the time. So, uh, yeah, that means that I have to buy a rifle, hopefully just to scare something off. I wouldn't hate to have to shoot a bear or a mountain lion. I'd break my heart. But, you know, that's part of living in the mountains too. So yeah, um, there's that. And yeah, bears are really the dominant thing <laughs> that I keep thinking about. But you know, hey, I'm excited. The view is beautiful and the lot is about four miles from Rocky Mountain National Park. So, you know, really you can't get any better living the dream out here. That's exactly what everybody wants to do. So. I'm excited. I'm excited to be living at 8,000 feet altitude and training up there because then, yeah, virtually anywhere I go in the country and run, it's going to be easier than where I live. <laughs> so if I can train and motivate myself to run up there, then I'm okay, I think, and we'll see if that happens. I don't know. It might be too much for my asthma. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be documenting all of this with my husband. Um, over the next few months and I'll check in periodically on Scoot with you guys and I don't know it might just be interesting and it'll probably get ugly here and there you know building a house um, it's not easy they say if you can build a house with your spouse no rhyme intended <laughs> your marriage can survive anything and since we basically just flipped our house um, we painted every room we put in new carpet I laid a bunch of tile this doesn't sound like a lot of work, but yeah, new baseboards, everything. It, it, it took about three weeks of staying up until midnight or one o'clock in the morning to get it done. And we survived. We don't hate each other. We're still together. So it bodes well. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going camper shopping here in a minute. 